Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see how to create the Our Team section using HTML and CSS. Take a look at the final demo in which we can see the Our Team title and below that we can see the three team members profile. Each team member has a name, a role and some dummy content about them. And here we can see the team members image which is half outside and half inside the blog so that it gives us the nice effect. And when we resize the browser window, we can see the deucer getting adapted to the size. See here it is a responsive and according to the width the deucer getting adjusted. For code you can visit my github account where you can download the files or clone it. Now let's get started with the HTML structure. First create the wrapper development which is a parent. Inside that consider a h1 tag with title our team. Below that create a development with the team class and inside that consider a three team members developments each team member has a h3 tag for name and a paragraph tag with a class role and this paragraph tag is for role and next pa next paragraph tag for dummy content i mean for some description about the team member uh, i will add some dummy cont uh, some dummy name and role ui developer even i will add for rest two members Now let's open the HTML structure in the browser. See here we can see the title and three team members profile. So for now I am not going to add the images. Later I am going to use the images. So here we have to change the name. Now let's include the custom styles in, into the HTML structure. For this demo, I am going to use the two Google fonts. First open the Google fonts, next search for the Allura fonts. Add, uh, see here, you can see the Allura fonts, click on this plus button, next search for the Josephine Sands. See here we can see the Josephine Sands. Click on this plus button. Now expand this and click on this import link. See here we can see the Alura and Josephine Sands. Now import this into the into our HTML uh, sorry into our styles. Now reset the default margin and padding values of all HTML elements to zero and use the box sizing property so that it includes the padding and border values into the width of the element. Next set the background color to the body. Now import the Josephine font family. This is default font family. Now style the wrapper development. C 
set its margin top value to 10 percent next style the h1 tag now set the allura font family to the title and set its font size to 50, 52 pixels and margin bottom 60 pixels text align center next style the team do element and this team do element has a three child elements see here we can see the three team members which are child elements to the team parent development by using the flex concept let's float these three team do elements in one row display flex see here we can see the three child elements are in one row now set the text align to center width auto here by default the flex, di flex direction is row next style the team members three team members background color white margin 5 pixels and margin bottom 50 pixels width 300 pixels see now here for team set its justify content property values to center so justify content helps us placing the items what horizontally in the center next padding 20 pixels line height 20 pixels line height is is a space between the lines color and position relative now style the history tag inside the team member change its color increase its font size and set the margin top value so here I am setting the margin top value to 50 pixels so that we can place the image tag here next style the, this p tag which has a role class role class change its color and font size to 12 pixels text transform uppercase and margin set its top and bottom margin to 12 pixels and left and right to 0 pixels see here we can see the margins now let's include the image for the each team member Consider a development with a class team image 
now inside this include the image links see here we have a three team members team one png team member image so here i am placing this team image above the h3 now style the image tag width the 100 pixels height 100 pixels border radius 50 percent now set the image width and height to 100 pixels now place the half of the image outside the block and inside so for that set its position value to absolute which is relative to the team member now set its top value to minus 50 pixels now place this image exactly in the center of the center of the block set its left value to 50 percent so now this image is not exactly in the center so remove the negative margin by using transform property and it has a translate x method and remove the negative margins see now it is exactly in the center now set the background color white for image set the padding to 10 pixels see now we can see the image and background color to it so when we resize the browser window see here we can see now the width of the do elements are getting string so to stop this set the flex wrap to wrap see now when we resize see the developments are getting wrapped and getting adjusted to the browser size i hope you enjoyed the video if you like this video Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.